Hi, my name is uh, Michele Weber. I'm the uh, director of the Laboratory of High Energy Physics at the University of Bern. And I'm also the lead uh, of the consortium aimed at uh, building the near detector, uh, the liquid argon component of it for the DUNE experiment. Uh, DUNE is one of the largest uh, neutrino experiments that will be built in the US and is aiming at resolving some of the most important open questions in uh, particle physics uh, about the matter antimatter symmetry, especially as seen in the uh, neutrinos. Um, the speciality of the uh, Dune experiment is that it uses a technology that allows to record very precise images of the neutrino interactions. Um, the liquid argon TPCs have millimeter um, precision in 3D uh, to record um, the tracks coming out of the neutrino interactions in uh, very much detail. And uh, that is uh, a great advantage uh, to extract most of the data that we're recording uh, so that we can aim at the uh, physics measurements uh, that we plan. Um, the uh, basic phenomena we're uh, exploring is the oscillation of neutrinos, and therefore you use a beam, um, in this case for Dune uh, from Fermilab, that is shot about 1,500 kilometers uh, to um, South Dakota. And there are two detectors, uh, one at Fermilab. The goal of that detector is to characterize the beam at the start, and then a detector at the far side in South Dakota aimed at measuring uh, the same neutrinos or a, the uh, um, evolution of them and how they potentially oscillate uh, on the journey at the far side. The importance is the pulse uh, technology so that the systematic effects are canceled uh, are using the same technology. And therefore uh, we're using the liquid argon TPC both for the far detector and there is also a liquid argon uh, detector at the uh, near detector. Uh, that can study these neutrino interactions in, in, in very much detail. The uh, near detector complexes, uh, this is not just for uh, the DUNE experiment, uh, this is for all um, long baseline uh, neutrino efforts, have a very uh, key role in this um, characterization of the beam at the start. Um, we also uh, know that uh, plenty of the systematic effects that go into the measurements are due uh, to uh, the uh, limited understanding of the interaction of neutrinos and therefore having a technology uh, based on these uh, liquid argon TPCs that allows us to record all the tracks and the particles uh, that come out of the interactions and then the reinteractions is really of key importance. Now the beams um, are very, very intense uh, to have enough uh, statistics uh, in neutrino interactions. And particularly at the near detector, that means in the case of Dune, that we will have pileup of multiple neutrino interactions in the same uh, beam spills. And therefore, we developed a technology called Argon Cube that allows us to um, have different modules uh, working together uh, next to each other. And uh, therefore, we can disentangle different interactions with neutrinos in the same spill of um, neutrinos that come from the protons uh, hitting the target uh, in our uh, detector. We'll use uh, 35 such modules uh, for the ND-LAR. Uh, now that means um, that we had to develop this technology new. We uh, also developed a new pixelated uh, charge readout uh, to enhance the precision, uh, but also we had to develop a new light system uh, for the light readout, uh, which is needed uh, to give the T0 uh, for the uh, interactions uh, in the TPC, but also required in the timing to disentangle all these uh, piling up neutrino interactions. Um, that new light system uh, had to be developed to go into the uh, electric field for the charge uh, drift because of the uh, geometry of putting uh, many modules uh, next to each other. 
Um, and one such technology uh, was proposed and then also accepted to be used uh, from the JINR group. And that is uh, the uh, responsibility in the share of responsibility of the institutes that we have uh, coming from uh, JINR. In total, we have 32 institutions in the consortium uh, from a number of, of countries, uh, the US, the UK, uh, Switzerland, Canada, um, and, and also Russia from, uh, with, with the JNR group. And the responsibility at this point uh, are, are distributed. And uh, so uh, we rely on all these partners uh, to deliver the components uh, so that we can construct this detector uh, over the next uh, several years. We have gone through uh, an extensive um, phase of R&D, which we have completed uh, a little more than a year ago. And now in the consortium, we are in the phase of uh, going through prototyping and convincing ourselves that the design we have is robust enough for the construction. We um, have gone through a, a series of reviews in the international uh, committees. Uh, there is a long baseline neutrino committee. We have uh, proposed a design that has been approved and uh, now really going through the prototyping at the different uh, size scale from uh, 30 by 30 by 30 centimeter tall to uh, a prototype we just operated in Bern, which is 30 by 30 uh, centimeter and one meter tall. And then we'll put uh, several of these uh, together to demonstrate the modular readout uh, over the next couple of years, and then start the construction of full-size modules, which have about the same base, one square meter, and then uh, but are three meter uh, tall. Construction uh, will be uh, going on uh, around 24, 25. And then in 2027, we'll start to integrate all the modules, uh, install them in the uh, near detector location 2028, and we hope for operation uh, shortly after. Now, um, as I said, these uh, light system uh, from JNR in these uh, share of responsibility in the consortium uh, play a key role. And um, what we did during these prototypes uh, over the last uh, few months, uh, especially uh, going up in, in size, is to make sure that they fulfill uh, the requirements we have set on the physics measurement um, in terms of efficiency and uh, time resolution and that they also work well together uh, with the other important component, which is the charge readout uh, for the uh, tracking. And uh, we have recorded a, a large number of, of events, now not from neutrino interaction, from cosmic rays, uh, but they are also interesting because there are extensive air showers uh, with multiple cosmic muons, uh, where we can see if we can handle uh, track density and from muon decays, stopping muon and then decays from Michel electrons, uh, we can see uh, if we can associate uh, the light from these tracks to the, uh, uh, from the light system to the charge readout. And that has been shown to work uh, very, very nicely. And uh, therefore, um, we are convinced uh, that we do have the necessary uh, technologies um, to uh, be able to build uh, the near detector and uh, now the next phases will be uh, uh, scaling up uh, the uh, size uh, to the three meter tall. And as I said, also showing uh, that multiple modules uh, work uh, next to uh, each other. And uh, therefore that will be the uh, work over the next um, several years. And I'm uh, really looking forward uh, to continuing this uh, very fruitful uh, collaboration uh, with the uh, JNR group. Uh, the colleagues have visited uh, Bern uh, several times and uh, also supported us um, uh, in the last run uh, for this uh, module where we demonstrated uh, working together of the various readouts and they have been uh, really key and uh, instrumental and uh, therefore um, I'm, I'm so glad to have them on board in the consortium and uh, to be able to construct this uh, beautiful detector together. Thank you uh, very much.